So last time we left off by adding a simple chat system to our game, now what I'm going to be showing you this time is how to add the music and sound effects for our game. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now before we actually start adding some music to our game, there is an issue that I want to address for the game, and that is the bug we sometimes get when we first launch the game, and it shows the end screen to the players. So in order to fix that bug, we're going to go over to our scripts, and we actually want to go into the player script, and we're going to start by defining a new custom signal. So in this case, it's going to be signal player underscore ready, and then we're going to go ahead and emit that signal in the function ready. So emit signal, and then the name of the signal we want to emit, so player underscore ready and I'm gonna go ahead and copy the name of the signal and then I want to go into the game state.gd script and I'm gonna start by defining a new variable so var ready underscore players is equal to zero then where I'm actually spawning the player uh, right underneath the var players line I want to do player dot connect the player underscore ready signal and then we, we want to connect it to ourselves and then we want it to call the on player ready function I'm going to go ahead and copy the name for that function Function, and then I'm gonna actually start making that function so function on underscore player underscore ready and all we want to do is ready underscore players plus equals one then in the function process we're gonna add a new if statement so if ready underscore players is equal to the server dot players dot size if this is the case then we want to go ahead and do the rest of the logic we had before and it should actually work now. And essentially what we did there is we're actually comparing the ready player variable we defined here with the amount of players that are actually connected to the server. And if we run everything, as you see here, we didn't actually get the uh, screen showing up at the very beginning anymore and the game is still working. Now let's actually go about adding some music to the game. So go ahead and add a new scene and we want to go ahead and add an audio stream player. Then what we want to do is we want to add our music. So I actually went ahead and already added a music folder and an SFX folder in my assets folder and I downloaded a song already and I made some sound effects. Now I got the song from I believe the site is called opengamearts.org. So the author of the song that I got is Trevor Lintz. Uh, sorry if I butchered the name and the name of the song is Prepare for War. Now it is an mp3 file. And the current version that I'm using for Goldot doesn't actually support mp3 files, so I did have to actually go ahead and convert it over to a WAV file instead. If we actually double click on the song, and we, we can actually go ahead and listen to it by clicking the play button over here, but I'm just going to stop it for now. Now, one thing we want to make sure that we actually do is with the song selected, we want to go over to import and make sure that loop is actually on. If it isn't, turn it on, and then you want to click on re-import, and that's just making it so that the song actually loops. Now, with the audio stream player selected, we can click and drag the, uh, the song into the stream field in the inspector and make sure that autoplay is on. And now we can actually go ahead and save. So we're going to go ahead and create a new folder called music. And then we're going to name the file music as well. And both the file name and folder name are lowercase because that's how we've been doing it thus far. And that actually does it. So we just want to go to project, project settings, auto load. And then we want to add the music scene as a singleton. So just click add and close. And now if we actually run the game here, it should actually play the music. Now it is a little bit loud so I am going to reduce the volume so for it so in the volume db I'm just going to do minus 10 and let's see how that sounds. I think that's better but uh, you can adjust it however you want. And that does it for the music. Now we can go about adding the sound effects. So we want to go ahead and go to the player bullet scene and the way I'm actually going to do this is I'm not actually going to write code to play the sound effect so uh, that way I don't have to actually worry about uh, making sure that the code actually works across all clients and is synchronized so the way I'm actually going to go ahead and do this is and I actually kind of already did it here but I'm just going to go ahead and delete the audio stream player I have and just start from the beginning so with the player bullet selected I want to go ahead and add an audio stream player to D 
with the audio stream player 2D selected, I just want to go ahead and click and drag the sound effect into the stream field in the inspector and then make sure that autoplay is done. And that actually just that that's all you have to do that that does it so we didn't have to worry about any code by doing it this way and that's essentially why i did it this way so now if we go ahead and test everything out we should actually have our music running and it is and if we shoot as you see we do in fact get a sound effect playing and now if we go ahead and get killed by an enemy here it does still show who won the game. So everything is working. Now, one last thing that I wanna do is I wanna reduce the volume for the sound effect because it is a bit loud. So I'm just gonna make the volume DB be minus 10. And with playing, I can actually go ahead and kinda like preview how loud it sounds. So if I run everything now, the music is playing and the sound effect is playing, you can go ahead and adjust the volume still if you want. I'm gonna leave it for this. And you can actually go about adding a more advanced sound system if you want. For example, you can have the music and the uh, sound effects on different audio buses, and then you can have settings where you can actually adjust the volume. But I'm not going to be worrying about that in this tutorial series. Maybe in the future I will release a video on how to do that. But for this series, we're not going to worry about that. Also, uh, I'm going to be releasing one last video for this series where I actually improved the visuals, such as actually adding the proper background for the game and some lighting. But anyway that actually does it for this video so i'm going to be leaving a link to the assets and the github project in the description and as always if you like the video make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one